Good morning. I have a message for some of you. Um, and it starts from a message for myself, which is about how humility and playing small are two different things. Now, if you grew up in an environment where you were squashed down to be smaller, if you grew up in an environment where you just didn't have what you needed, you know, you were poor and you watched your family just struggle and you kind of associated yourself with a lack mentality, you might have a hard time putting yourself out there and feeling like what you have to offer is going to be valued by others. And there was this idea that in order to be really humble, that you never really ask for anything, that you never really put yourself out there, that you don't really shine, you know, that you never really, you don't really take up any space, basically. And this is something that I've been working through on and off for years, but it's, it's rising and rising again right now because it, A, it needs to be looked at by the collective. And part of my job here is to experience things myself and then reflect it back to the collective for, you know, more of a, um, a collective healing experience. It's not just about me. So when you're working with, say for instance, this is an example that I'm dealing with right now having grown up very poor and on food stamps on you know section 8 HUD housing whatever you want to call it I got made fun of for being poor in a rich town and I didn't expect to cry during this but I'm not gonna stop because this is part of it part of it is showing other people that I know what you're experiencing and part of it is showing people that never knew what it was like to go without what it's like to be on the other side because they might not have ever thought about it but the point is I was raised to believe that I wasn't really worthy of having attention, abundance, anything. You know, I was, I was squashed down to, made, to be made smaller by bullies at school, by my family members in my home, and by the life circumstances that I was put in. And so it's taken me a long time to kind of fight to the surface and like, claw myself out and say, no, I was put here for greater things. And even though I wasn't given those things, those, you know, money, abundance, that type of thing when I was young, I was given so much abundance, you know? And part of my job is to learn how to wield this abundance and to stand in it knowing its value. What you carry inside of you is valuable. Who you are, your essence is valuable asking for what you need, showing up and even showing out is part of your job as a human on this earth. And again, there's a difference between humility and playing small, just like there's a difference between asking for what you need and demanding it. You know, there's a difference between coming forward and saying, this is what I have to offer, you know, with humility. I just own it. I claim it, take it or leave it and shoving it in someone's face. You know, there's a difference between knowing your worth and standing in that knowing, embodying it in an everyday sort of way and being selfish. You know, there's a difference. And I think the people that were taught to um, play really small don't know how to take up space. They don't know how to ask for even what they deserve. And it's something like monetizing your gifts so it's a struggle for me, but I'm supposed to struggle so that I can pave a way for you too. And so, and that's not the only reason why I'm allowing myself to do this. Like it is part of our job as humans. I had somebody comment on one of my posts recently about monetizing some of the work that I'm doing, saying, did Jesus ask for help? And you know, just some interesting things that triggered me. And I knew immediately when I got triggered that I was supposed to be triggered to, to look at whatever was there that I triggered them to look at whatever they were dealing with. And then they projected back their, you know, this is how healing works. This is what most people don't understand. Instead of just freaking out, you know, I have people in my life who I was raised by people like this. So they just, they just like freak out the first minute of a, of a trigger. And it's like, no, 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 no. Just breathe. A trigger is there to show you something about yourself. Don't run from it. And if I seem like I'm all over the place, it's because there's a lot of different messages within this one larger message, which is 
A, don't project your stuff on other people. We are here to shine. We are here to share. And you know what? Money is not evil. And this is something that I've had to learn over the years. Like, Money is a tool. It's a divine tool. It could be used for good or for evil or, you know, just normal things in between, just like anything. It's a choice. And I think there's so many people that have been in power in our lives throughout history that have had a lot of money that have not had good hearts. And I think we've all looked at that and just thought money is the problem. Money is not the problem. Money is amazing. It's a gift to you. It's not even, you know, it's kind of an illusion at this point. There's no gold behind it. It's just... It's just this like, so half the time it's not even money anymore. It's just some electronic transfer. Don't get in your head about how you're taking from other people if you're monetizing your gifts. Don't get in your head about how you're supposed to be doing everything for free because that's what Jesus did. This is what the comment said, so that's why I said that. The comment talked about Jesus not asking for money. Well, first of all, we're not Jesus, right? And we're living in very different times. And second of all, there's nothing wrong with getting paid to do what you came here to do, especially if you have a good heart and you're not trying to just take from people, you know, especially if you just want to help. There's nothing wrong with being able to put food on your table and help someone else at the same time. In fact, that is what we're here to do. Find this balance between being these really esoteric, you know, spiritual beings on this planet, in this physical form, you know, with a stomach that desires food, that needs food to survive, we were put here to find that balance. And I'm talking to myself here too, because I have always known that I was going to be very abundant in this life. I was born in, I would say extreme poverty by American US standards. And there's no reason why I should have thought that, none at all. But there's some part of me that knows that I'm supposed to have because I'm supposed to give. And you can't really give if you don't have anything to give. If you can't even put food on your own table, how are you supposed to give? So I think we just need to reframe the way we look at money, our relationship with receiving, our relationship with ourselves and putting ourselves out there and not playing small and not pretending like we don't deserve something by playing a martyr role of well, I can't, you know, ask anybody for anything because I, because Jesus didn't ask or because a real saint wouldn't ask. We're not here to just open our doors and let people come in and ravage everything we have and leave us with nothing. And especially if you're here to help other people, you can't do that anymore because you will have nothing to give. You have to. And the other part of this for the really spiritual people out there, and especially the ones identifying with this Jesus metaphor, you have to help yourself in order to help others. And you, I believe in the power of manifestation, asking prayer, any, whatever you, however you want to look at it, God wants you to take steps to help yourself before, you know, that divine presence will step in. It's like, you have to take that first step and show that you know your value, that you know what you're here to do, that you know that you're a beautiful being that deserves to have all the food and all the, you know, whatever you need, like the bare minimum at least, okay? At the fucking least. But you actually deserve to have abundance overflowing. But you have to embody that within yourself first and move from a place of integrity. And so there's a difference between playing small and being, you know, having humility. Remember that. We're not here to play small. We're not here to pretend we don't have needs. We're not here to starve ourselves in the name of God or spirituality. And it's not noble because it's not serving you and you have to serve yourself. You have to nurture yourself. What good are you to anyone if you can't do that? Honestly, ask yourself, okay? And all the respect to everyone, including the person who left the comment, okay? This is honestly, this is something that I needed to get out. And that there's a reason why that comment came in and triggered me that way. So yeah. Have a wonderful day, y'all.